it is time to get to work. Yes, we are not far from the Blue Ridge Parkway. So we are getting unloaded. We're about to build a ground mount, a complete system. And the weather is 70 degrees and beautiful. So we are gonna, we got Elijah here, the, his first day of his summer job. He's stronger. It's awesome. I'm gonna put him to work. We're gonna build a ground mount over here, facing some sort of direction. Just kidding. This weather thing I might have to take out. Last time I was here, I see the customer took out the tree that I was worried about for shading. And we'll see. Hopefully there's no rock. That'll be the only thing. So, beautiful, beautiful home on top of this hill. And hopefully I can get five posts in today. I hired a hot shot to deliver my panels, rest of the ground mount, but I brought five, six posts with me so that I could get that ground mount. It's, we're so we're, we had a long drive, load up this morning, so it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Hopefully get these posts in and we'll head to the hotel. And anyway, I've got a plan, the best laid plans. See how it goes. Oh, I wish all job sites were like this. It's super nice, cool breeze, like 70 degrees and windy. Got the kid with me and uh, these things are going in like butter. I shouldn't do this and shouldn't. We got three more to do. Just put in two in like five minutes. So that's awesome. All right, not too bad. It's a little after six. We got all our posts in. Got all our materials down in the mech room. We plucked some bushes out that were in our way. And we're heading to the hotel room for consultation time. I can't believe they scheduled me. Oh, I just want to enjoy this for a moment. But we're going, I guess we're going north to Virginia to get a hotel. Can't find one around here. So just starting off today, we got our hot shot. We got all the materials delivered. They're about to turn around and head out to our next job. And we're putting up trusses and then purlins and build this Sinclair. And then it's going to be all hands on. We got these sails to put up without smashing them with all this wind. It's pretty, it's going to be a challenge today but we've been watching some f-16s i haven't caught them on video they've been cranking through here it's been awesome using the skid steer to set up the purlins is the only way to go <laughs> so much safer all right we're back on site somewhere in north carolina i got elijah working hard this summer very helpful good worker Wes is out there wiring the array, and James and Willis are getting the outdoor gutter, our target. So it's just a beautiful spot up here. We built two of these arrays last week up here. Came back to do the bottom end, to uh, do the AC side. I'm going to have two EMP hardened 15Ks, a bunch of Gigastack batteries, a Generac incorporated in with a two-wire start, bypasses and switches galore, and... Um, I'm very thankful for where I get to work. Can't really beat it. Our favorite is 42 panels, four string, uh, six strings of seven. It's very well balanced in a 15K, high voltage, no loss of power. Looks good, it's good size, five posts. And that's it, so I gotta quit yapping and start digging and get over to the house with this trench and then we'll be in business. All right, we're gonna get into this outdoor gutter configuration here we're going to try to maintain the customer's 400 amp service willis is pulling the meter he got permission first. yes he got permission this time last time he got his wrist slapped but we called the the um emc and they said we could pull our own meter and after we're inspected we can call them back we can put our meter back in too so so we're going to put a outdoor wiring trough in here that is going to do several things for us it's going to give us our fusible disconnect required by the utility. We're going to reuse this 200 amp breaker and a bypass switch for one of the panels. We're feeding two 200 amp panels. You might not want to know all the details, but we've got to get in this band with solar, generator, panel one, panel two, control wires, 
all our usual fun stuff, but we're gonna try to rebuild this area here, make it nice. We got lots of Myers hubs, two inch pipes, and this isn't too bad, is it, Willis? No, it's nice meter-based, right. continuous with the bypass. Yes. Here we go, pulling in the Solar. Six strings of seven. I'm of no help, I'm of no use. James and Elijah are on the other end pulling. Over there in the grass making bird calls. Hold up! Hold up! I could come over there and help you. You're good. Those who can't work, film. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is... Those that can't... All right, go! You go! Pull wires, film. It's not a very long run. 180. Try to time it with the next, what's ever left on that spool will handle our next job, I hope. So again, we vacuumed in the string, pulled back a mule tape, they're pulling it in with mule we're, tape. We're hung up, hold up, hold up! This the ground keeps getting hung up. And I'm of no use, they're gonna throw something at me. Who did that? No. Oh, the beauty of post pounding on level lawn. It's like a golf course up here. No evidence that we had a piece of equipment on here. A couple little tire tracks here and there, but this is so nice compared to all the dirt we used to have to mess with. Not that that was the end of the world. A lot of people ask, okay, well, I'm not going to do it unless we drive it, but we, we did them forever. Dig the holes and concrete them in. It'll eventually look like this. This is just a shortcut. And the last one we did, we couldn't pound them down level we had to cut them but that's not the end of the world either all right we're gonna pull the solar in and it's gonna be a good day day two progress down in the mech room we've got two 15 k's we've got two stacks of rubik's batteries the giga stacks uh for how many gigawatts how many 50 30 60 megawatts i could also put another 60 underneath for 120 how be about 122 if they need it. I don't think they're going to need it. We've got a bypass down here, 200 amp. We are feeding two 200 amp panels here, but we've got to do some back and forth. We want to, we're trying to maintain the 400 amp service, the 320 amp continuous. And uh, this is how we're going to do this one, a little bit different. So we're using one 200 amp fusible disconnect outside, and then two of these 200 amp bypasses. We'll show you that. The solar we just pulled in and is being landed. Indian PPTs will land in here. We've got horrible lighting to work with down here. Need to set up some more lights. And batteries. Half of the batteries are landed. We've got to work that out. Thankfully, they're on casters and are easy to move. So this is our mechanical room layout. Outside, finishing up, landing the disconnects. Um, finished up my trench. So in pretty good shape on... Well, it's day and a half on the bottom end, so we're good. Tomorrow will be a lot of wiring. A lot of wiring. That's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. I just got to remember what I'm forgetting so I can make a supply run in the morning. Oh, yeah. We've got four microwares to put in as well. Okay. Down to the fourth microwave, the last one. Elijah's wiring it into this. Is this a ton and a half? Did we check? Yeah, it's like a ton and a half. Uh, the stickers these here. are two and a half. This is three of these on this house. Just tested that one. Connected with Bluetooth and everything's good on three out of four. So these are game changers. These make a world of difference with our solar systems. Just being able to lower the startup loads. The alternative to doing this is load management because we don't want to do that. But that's the talk today. You have Savant, you've got Span, you've got Lumen, you got Generac. There's a lot of load management systems out there and they're very expensive. You can add a microwear to this and lower the lock rotor amps by 75 amp, 75 percent, and there's no load management needed. So there's two ways to go. You can do both, but this is a le less expensive, straightforward way to allow the inverters to just run your HVAC and not have to shed them out. So it's a wrap here on this job. We had a little, we still have to, we're going to come back. We had a little problem with this older Generac trying to make a two wire start. 
sometimes you have those problems but we got all the micro airs and everything to work and uh, it's a beautiful sunny day you see the solars over there system came out really well so we had a wonderful place to work great customer and so we'll come back and figure out this generator part but uh it's a little frustrating but we passed inspection systems running beautiful spot all right if you have any questions let me know happy to put in a system for you what's unique about this system not much other than we wanted to maintain the 400 amp service and so we have the ability to do that it's a 320 amp continuous and now the way we wired this we have uh, two manual bypasses one 200 amp disconnect that feeds the inverters and so we're able to uh, put the entire house back on the 400 amp service uh, the customers added a pretty good load with an EV about 35 kilowatt hours a day that was not part of the original consultation so um, that's just because you got a new job and then those things happen so we're gonna figure out maybe we just need to add some batteries it's gonna be hard with 60 kilowatt hours and the amount of driving he's doing with a hundred kilowatt hour battery to net zero the house including the car um, because he he leaves very early and comes home late but we'll work on that it's just it's only money um, but we can we can solve the problems it's just math so I'm glad it is what do you think of that don't even know if there's anything done there post pounded eight feet in the ground and go come play golf on this all right the kid is in the truck he really wants to go get some Mexican food I'll see you later this is engineer 775 signing out